Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we're going to talk about the Iron Bull EWP EWB equipment trailer. This is a 22 foot trailer. Um, had this about, uh, we got it in July of 21, so a little bit over a year now. Um, it's been a great trailer. The reason I purchased this trailer was partially because it was in the budget. It's definitely one of the cheaper trailers. However, I don't feel like um, it's a bottom of the line trailer. It's a very stout trailer. I like this trailer in particular because it was an I-beam trailer and I, I feel like it's heavy duty. It looks like a heavy duty equipment trailer you'd see like a contractor using or something. So that persuaded me to get this. This is 22 feet long. It has a four foot dovetail on it. Um, so the ramps fold flat. Another reason why I really like this trailer is when I'm going down the road, if it's empty or loaded, I just like the flat ramps. I don't like the ramps that stick up. Um, yes, the loading angle is better with ramps that stick up, but in my past experiences, ramps that stick up bounce a lot. And let's say you're going on a long road trip to pick up a truck or a piece of equipment and you're driving the trailer empty, the trailer rides like crap. Um, this trailer, I mean, I've drove it six hours one way unloaded and you don't even know it's back there. It tows so good. The ramps will either stand up flat, they have holding, holding pins right here that hold it flat. And these pins are super heavy duty. It's not like the, the ramp's gonna fall down. It's got these pins that hold the bars. I really like that. Um, it's got these that hold the ramps closed and I'm missing the pin on that right now because it fell out. So, okay. so this trailer is a 14,000 pound rated trailer. I think the trailer empty weighs 3,800 pounds. So it'll haul like 11,000 pounds on it is what they suggest. Um, I think we pulled, hauled probably 12, 13,000 pounds on it. Um, uh, skid steer and um, what do we have on the front of it? A roller. So that's a roller is pretty heavy and a S76 Bobcat skid steer. That's pretty heavy too. So I'm sure it was quite up there. Trailer handled it just fine. So another huge feature to this trailer that I really like is this ginormous box. A lot of open trailers they don't have any box on them at all, and you end up throwing all the chains and straps in your truck. It leaves your truck a mess. I don't like that. Whenever I want to hook up to my trailer. I want all my chain straps, tools in here, and I don't want anything in my truck. That way, if somebody comes and borrows it, everything's loaded in here, it's great. Um, another one I really like is this jack. The jack is up here. A lot of other trailers, they put the jack back here and the handle's over here. So in turn, since they don't have boxes, you've got to step inside, put your foot on the jack foot, have it go down, lock it. This one just makes sense to me. It's right here. I can easily put my foot on this jack, push it down, lock it. Everything's good to go. So when I hook it up, all my work is right here. It just makes sense to me. I really like it. also has a nice spare tire on this side. Um, spare tire holder, it didn't come with the tire. We had to put this cheap tire on here. Um, the tire down the bolts are a little bit loose, but the holder itself is really stout. I feel like you can smash this tire with something and it's not gonna bust off. So um, the only, we haven't had any problems out of this trailer. The only thing we did too is we upgraded the tires. Um, I don't really like the tires that come on Trailers Factory. I feel like they're just cheap tires. We upgraded them to 14. My only tires. real complaint on this trailer, and I can't really show you because they've got all this stuff loaded on here, is the ramps are too steep. This tail, let's say it's a 30 degree angle. It needs to be like a 45. Um, I know on some of the other trailers that are have these similar ramps, when you flip them over, they sit flat on the ground. These do not. So when you load up something heavy, such as a heavy skid steer, mini excavator, the tractor doesn't do it, it's not heavy enough, but something heavy, it bucks the trailer and sits the rear end way down. I don't really like that. Um, that's probably why the guy behind the camera knocked the skid steer into the fender because it, it really comes up and um, especially with something with tracks, there is a real tipping point to it, more than most trailers. So that's my only complaint, but I think the reason that they give you that angle is because the deck height on this trailer is a little bit taller um, i'm not very tall but it's about waist height i know on some of the other trailers um not the i-beam style trailers but the deck's a lot lower so that's probably why in turn the tail has to be too steep maybe if you lower the trailer six eight inches then the ramps aren't as steep but that's my only real complaint the deck height being taller is kind of nice sometimes if you're Let's say you, you're working somewhere and you're working with wood, like plywood or something, you're using the trailer kind of as your table. Um, the deck height...
overall, I would I would recommend buying this trailer. Um, it's I think it's in a good price range. I don't know what the current pricing on them is when we got it. Um, the pricing was good on it. I felt like I was getting a good bang for the buck. Um, the powder coat on it's really good. I didn't want to buy a trailer that looked like crap after a year. Um, everything about it, it, it works. It works for us. Um, if you're hauling, if you're going to use it day in and day out, hauling heavy equipment. I'd probably get a tilt deck or maybe a diamond C, something a little bit heavier, just for the sake of loading it and unloading it. Yeah. Um, if you're like us and you're hauling a wood splitter and a tractor or um, side by side, something not super heavy. Well, I mean, it can haul heavy. It's just if you were going to do it every day, I probably wouldn't buy it. Yeah. But the use that we use it for, occasional trucks, side by side tractors, it works great. It, it was a great bang for the buck trailer. Um, so I would definitely recommend it. Um, and this came from Hanks in Aledo, Illinois. So if you're in the Midwest and you need a good trailer and great people to deal with, um, check out Hanks Power. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you're interested in anything, um, trailers, trucks, side-by-sides, tractors, log splitters, chainsaws, um, subscribe. We really appreciate it. And thanks for watching today.